How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be completing Showdown in order to have all 30 team affinities maxed out at 100%. So let's go ahead and get right into the draft. I'm going to be fast forwarding this a little bit and then go over some tips on why I drafted some of these specific players for this showdown. I will start off by saying that I'm going to be skipping all the way to the end in order to complete this showdown. So I'm going to draft as many hitters as I can, as many power hitters specifically as possible. Then I'm also going to look and see who is on my bench, what players I can put in, because sometimes they leave a couple good players. I'm actually going to lead off my pitcher in this one, so that way I can bring in Shin Su Chu off the bench. We also have Malik Smith on the bench as well, who has some good speed. I'm going to quickly go over a screenshot that's going to give out seven tips on how I skip to the end down by 15 runs, scoring the 16 runs necessary with 20 outs. You really only have 19 outs though to work with because once you get that last out, regardless if it's tied, you will fail. So with that being said, we need to walk it off. We need to score 16 runs before we get those 19 outs in general. So with that being said, I pinch hit Shin Su Chu, end up hitting a home run. The first tip is probably the most important you want to get off to an early start. You want to get a couple runs early on in this showdown, uh, whether it's through home runs, whether it's through base hits. You really want to get the confidence down on the pitcher as much as you can early on because no matter what, once you score that fifth run, the confidence on the pitcher will go up a little bit for some reason. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game. I don't know if, it, if it's something that the developers put into showdown in order to make it tougher when you skip to the end i'm not quite sure exactly what it is but uh, another thing on there is that the the best defenders are out there on defense i mean for that respective team so willie mays the rookie version the 87 overall diamond is playing right field he makes that play he's got a cannon for an arm they have 99 buster posey behind the plate they also have the monthly award brandon crawford at shortstop so they ha he has really good defense i mean they have the best players for that respective team out there i'm just trying to explain what that exactly means so right here we were able to get off to a pretty good start here six runs after recording six outs and now he starts to throw more pitches down the middle more hanging breaking balls hanging change-ups a lot of fastballs inside up and inside pitches that you can really drive now it's really important for us to score though because we just scored that fifth run or sometimes you know it can be that sixth run or seventh run it just depends on how you score those runs i think because i was playing one of these showdowns against catfish and he had his confidence was all the way down and then for whatever reason at seven runs it went up a little bit so it wasn't that fact that i hit into a double play or anything like that that's going to raise his confidence another thing to go with those double plays are strikeouts that's also going to raise the pitcher's confidence so these are just things to keep in mind because the confidence really matters in terms of perfect perfect hits line outs in general and hits that you get rewarded on when you're not necessarily on the ball with the pci so uh, something that i noticed in this when when you do hit into double plays it just seems like you hit the ball to fielders more often just line drives right to them i mean this is on veteran it is showdown against the computer so you are going to line out regardless but i'm just trying to provide all the examples that i can think of uh, different examples that I've talked about in other showdown videos as well. Just kind of something to summarize this because I'm not going to be doing showdown much more because we have everything maxed out at 100%. We also uh, are gaining a lot of XP by doing this, by skipping to the end, earning uh, the vouchers necessary for those team affinities, but also earning about 8,000 to 10,000 XP per showdown so we will be able to reach level 65 prestige in this video as well and we will also be able to unlock one of those cards it's going to be either george springer or jose ramirez and i'm not sure who i'm going to choose i still haven't decided yet but once we complete this and open up the remaining 25 ball and as a habit packs then we can kind of uh, look at where we are at and also determine who we're going to pick in that pack so uh with that being said if you notice, I bunted 
in this one i got several outs in a row after hitting into a double play i just started to line out a few times you saw it with mike trout then i laid down a bunt because i started to get down into the single digits for outs i had a guy on base i'm just going to manufacture that run and as you can see we scored 16 runs and we still had five outs remaining but really we really only had four outs because you like i said earlier you cannot get that last out even if you score a run and it's the last run of the showdown Let's say you have 15 runs, you hit a double, and you have a guy on second base, but you get thrown out at third base trying to extend him for whatever reason. That out will still count, and I've done that before to try and just test it, but I'm trying to think of everything possible in this video. Here's a crazy example. I thought this ball was for sure off the wall. Ends up resulting in a double play, and that's just the worst possible thing. We have the bases loaded. That's going to end up costing us ultimately two runs. Because in this showdown mode, the outs don't reset after three uh, like it would in a typical inning. And then also the base runners don't reset. So now we got a base knock. We could have multiple guys on. We could still have, you know, first and third, but we don't. So now we have to try and hit a home run. It's important. After I score this fifth run, once again, I mean, since we hit a two run shot, this is kind of where the confidence starts to rise a little bit, even though he just gave up a two run homer. So that's kind of that glitch that I'm talking about. It's important that we continue to do well though, because one home run like this will lower that confidence even more and kind of drop it down to what it would have been without that glitch. So that's really important. Once we get another base hit, we end up going deep this time with Brandon Marsh and that's really going to help us. I mean, at this point, I have a really good feeling that I'm going to complete this. 10 runs with nine outs remaining. And now we got a couple base runners. I mean, this is a really good situation. They actually throw the ball away. And we move up to second base. Uh, the, the Oakland Athletics don't really have the best defenders. They do have a lot of guys with good arm strength. And their corner infielders are absolutely amazing, of course. Matt Chapman and Matt Olson. But their outfielders are not going to cover that much ground. Uh, not as much as some of the other teams anyway. And then, of course, the one thing you do have to keep in mind is their arm strength. I have been you know, thrown out a few times. But here is a great example. Matt Chapman makes a diving stop, but we do beat it out. You do need some luck involved when you're trying to skip all the way to the end. It's just going to happen that way. I mean, sometimes uh, you hit into a double play and they make an error or something like that. You need all the help you can get because even though you're playing on veteran, it's still a challenging mode. This is still pretty tough to do. With a lot of practice, it gets easier, but it is still, you know, kind of challenging. Uh, I I do say, you know, if you practice with custom practice, this mode is fairly easy, and it gets a lot easier after you've done it a few times. But for an average player who, you know, just picks up the game every once in a while, this mode is going to be tough, and this method is also going to be tough. But anyway, we were able to finish it another time here. This is actually the last attempt that I need. This will give me enough vouchers to max out all 30 teams at 100% for the team affinity. So as you can see, we do still have 2 million stubs. When I was taking this screenshot, it was in the middle of giving me a notification. So that's why that's blank. But we do have this the choice pack here, which is really important. I also want to kind of show you the progress on stage three. Of course, once stage four comes out, whether that's in a couple of weeks or a month or maybe even two months. I don't know. All we know is that it's coming out in the fall. So we'll have to look. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. We'll have to look for that. Any clues and any uh, schedule updates. But now we're going to go ahead and open up the 25 ball and packs and the prestige level 65 choice pack. All right. We have 25 ball and as a habit packs. And then, of course, the prestige level 65 choice pack so let's go ahead and get right into this a live pack opening let's see let's see if we can pull some diamonds i have opened up 60 ball and as a habit packs i did a video where i opened up 50 ball and as a habit packs i opened up a few of these ball and packs that you were able to get through team affinities uh out of order not all at once and pulled a few diamonds so that's pretty sweet we'll see how many we can get out of 25 let's see man let's see Let's take a look at some of these odds real quick. One out of 15 odds for a diamond. I'm hoping for a 90 plus. I'm hoping for a 90 plus. I'm doing this before the roster updates a couple of times. I might keep some of these players. I might sell them. But we do have 2 million stubs regardless. So let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it going. Blake Snell, not a bad card to get. Haven't really tried out that 95. 
Let me make sure that this is uh, not echoing here. We don't want that. Make sure that this audio is uh, running smoothly. There's a diamond. Let's go, man. There we go. There we go. Let's see who it is. National League pitcher, right-hander. This time I'm looking at the player's handedness. You guys roasted me in the comments last time for uh, Cody Bellinger, but there's Walker Bueller. Not who we were looking for. That's not Max Scherzer. That is not Max Scherzer, but I'll take it. There's a diamond pole. There is a diamond pole. Let's keep it going here. I do apologize for the little bit of echo at the beginning. Just double audio, just trying to make sure that everything is running smoothly now, though. All right, all golds. Ballin' is a gold, man. Ballin' is a gold. Will Smith, double gold. All right, better than nothing. That's equivalent to pretty much a diamond right there. 283s. Let's see, can we get one more diamond? If we can get one more, I'll be I'll be happy with that. 25, two diamonds out of 25 packs. Then I don't know who I'm gonna choose out of that choice pack, I have no idea. Let me know, who would you take? I think Thames is the ultimate pick out of the first one. First time around, oh, Nick Castellanos. Sell now, 3,700. I love the roster updates, man. I don't think he's gonna go up to a diamond. He has been on a tear. But I'll take the guaranteed stubs. There's Josh Rojas. He hasn't been really playing with the Diamondbacks lately. I don't think he made the the roster for the shortened season. But I did play uh, baseball with this dude. I played uh, at the same junior college as he did. Nice. Seth Lugo. 82. That's a quick sell. Let's keep it moving here, man. Double golds. Eight left. Eight left. Is there a diamond in here? Is there another diamond? Come on, man. One more. I want to see the blue. I want to see the blue. I'll take one diamond, though. Out of 25 packs, I will definitely take that. You get a ton of ball in packs from completing Stage 3 Team Affinities. 150 of them, at least. Man, oh man. Come on. Last couple of chances. No, sir. Is there one in the last pack? The last ball and pack we're going to get from Stage 3 Team Affinities. Gold, Luis Castillo. All right, let's see. Who do we get out of this? Who do we take out of this? I think I got to go Springer, man. I'm sick and tired of getting the 85 George Springer. I think I got to get the, the 99 one. Postseason. I don't think I'm going to really use this Jose Ramirez. He's a very good card. I mean, both of these guys are very good cards. I don't know if, if I would even use this George Springer card just because we have so many other better options now. But I think I'm going to take this guy. And that's going to wrap it up, man. That's going to do it for the video. I do apologize a little bit for that echo at the beginning of the pack opening, but we were able to complete uh, the Team Affinities maxed out to 100%. I'll go ahead and show you all once again that all of these are maxed out. We're ready for Stage 4. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and peace out.